Chapter 2, Force Vectors. The following are the objectives of this chapter. To show how to add forces and resolve them into components using the parallelogram law, to express force and position in Cartesian vector form, and explain how to determine the vector's magnitude, and finally, to introduce the dot product in order to determine the angle between the two vectors or the projection of one vector onto another. First, let's start with a quick introduction to the concept of scalars and vectors. A scalar, by definition, is a quantity characterized by a positive or negative number, meaning that it only has magnitude. For example, mass, volume, and length are scalar quantities often used in statics. In most statics textbooks, scalars are indicated by letters in italic type. A vector is a quantity that has both a magnitude and a direction. Those are the two keywords that you need to remember. Magnitude and direction. In statics, the vector quantities frequently encountered are position, force, and moment. Position, force, and moment. These quantities are vectors because they have both magnitude and direction. In most textbooks, vectors will be symbolized in boldface type. For example, A in boldface. The magnitude, which is always a positive quantity, is symbolized in italic type, written as A, which means simply A. Now this is understood that A is a positive scalar. Now let's try to understand a vector graphically. A vector is represented graphically by an arrow which is used to define its magnitude, direction, and sense. Let's write that down. Magnitude, direction, and sense. The magnitude of the vector is the length of the arrow. The direction is defined by the angle between a reference axis and the arrow's line of action. And the sense is indicated by the arrowhead. For example, vector A, in boldface here, has a magnitude of four units. One, two, three, four. This is one unit. A direction, which is 20 degrees, measured counterclockwise from the horizontal axis, and a sense, which is upward and to the right. The point O is called the tail of the vector, and the point P is the tip or head of the vector.